uh, it, it is the time when, when we remember all the good things that we have and we're grateful for them. And we do that not only individually, but we, c we come together to do that. And so we're doing that also. We're, all, we're raising money for charity, and we have a guest speaker. We have Judge, uh, Judge, Judge Franklin Freeman, who you, you're going to meet. And uh, it's a custom from the United States and also Canada that in Gibraltar, we take a lot of the customs from a lot of different places, and people seem to have welcomed the custom here because it's a really good thing to do. Uh, this is our this is our third, and we have more people than, we, than we've had in the past, and we're we're very happy to be doing it. Now, AmCham has been on the scene uh, for for a number of years now, I believe. Um, tell us about the organisation and what it continues to to do and and work towards. Well, Am AmCham has been around since uh, 2014. We were accredited in the same year that we were established uh, by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. And we've been working to promote both business and cultural relations between Gibraltar and the United States. And so we have trade missions where American companies come to Gibraltar, we go to the States. Uh, we're, we're part of the AmCham's in Europe network where we, where we are sort of the Gibraltar member. We sit between Greece and Germany because of our, our spelling. Uh, and um, we're just trying to promote uh, those, those relations, which I think in today's time are increasingly important. Five years on now, do you think you can perhaps quantify anything that AmCham have, have been able to do? Well, we have had a few uh, American businesses coming, coming to Gibraltar as a result of trade missions that we did, and so we're very happy with that. We've done a number of uh, lectures with Nobel laureates and with Juan Verde, uh, which the which the the, 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 um, the public really welcomed and, and, and enjoyed very much on innovation and and on, and on uh, sustainability. Uh, so we're trying to contribute in in that way.